Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? Do you, the people, remember back in the day, it used to be a big deal to go out to eat. Everyone would get dressed up, pack into the station wagon, drop by Grandma and Pop Pop's house, pick them up, and you'd head out to your favorite restaurant. And man, there were some good ones back in the 70s and 80s. But if you wanted seafood, at least in my neck of the woods, you had two choices, Red Lobster or Chesapeake Bay Seafood House. I think Red Lobster was the fancier of the two, mainly because they sold lobster. Red Lobster had to be the fancier of the two. Ed O'Neill ate there before he was Al Bundy. When was the last time you tasted really good seafood? Come on into Red Lobster. We've got plenty. Super shrimp. Tender fillets. Beautiful lobster. Over 30 different delicious choices prepared just the way you like and priced to keep you coming back for more. For lunch, for dinner, for seafood, you know where to go. Red Lobster is where America goes for seafood. That was a step back in the Wayback Time Machine. I couldn't tell you the last time I've been into a Red Lobster, but I don't think they are now what they used to be. If you've been into a Red Lobster recently, let me know in the comments how they are. But Red Lobster has something now that they didn't used to have, and that's a line of frozen foods you can enjoy at home. And I don't know how long these have been around or if they're new or not, but they're new to me, and that's what we're gonna be doing today. It's finding out what we're eating in Red Lobster's Parmesan crusted garlic and herb stuffed shrimp. This 6.8 ounce box of Red Lobster Parmesan crusted garlic and herb stuffed shrimp varies in price depending on where you shop. I bought these at my local food line for $5.99 on sale. The regular price is $7.99. Right now at Walmart, the rollback price is $6.67. The normal price is $7.48. So it pays to shop around. Walmart isn't always the cheapest. These seem to be a little bit above average. Out of 115 reviews, they got a 3.8 out of 5. The Red Lobster Parmesan Crusted Garlic and Herb Stuffed Shrimp are stuffed with garlic, herbs, and cream cheese surrounded by a Parmesan Crusted Breading. It's the perfect bite of shrimp every time. It's second to yum at every meal. Well, after that one, there's no need for my corny dad jokes today. The picture on the box looks pretty good. If they look like that out of the box after they're cooked, I'll be very surprised. The people at Red Lobster must be smoking the good kush because they say the perfect pairing is a refreshing green salad made with pomegranate and lemony herbs and topped with Parmesan crusted garlic herb and stuffed shrimp. Blazing hot fried shrimp stuffed with hot cream cheese on top of a cold salad? In my opinion, that sounds like ass. Maybe put chilled steamed shrimp or grilled shrimp on top of the salad? That sounds much better. Let me know what you, the people, think about hot shrimp on a cold salad. Here's the ingredient list, and the first thing I see is they're made with real, whole shrimp. A lot of frozen shrimp products are made with shrimp paste or shrimp mince, or a fish and shrimp combination mince or paste. Now even though these are whole shrimp, there's some bad news to that. At least in my opinion there is. I already knew about Chicken of the Sea tuna being a product of Thailand, and the Red Lobster dishes are made by Chicken of the Sea, and therefore the shrimp are also a product of Thailand. Unfortunately, the majority of frozen and canned seafood are products of other countries outside of the U.S. And to be clear, just because it says it's a product of Thailand or another country doesn't necessarily mean that the seafood was caught in that country. It can simply mean that the product was caught in American waters but produced in another country. For instance, that's why you can buy Alaskan Pollock in the grocery store but it's a product of Thailand or China or wherever else it was produced. It's supposed to be a cost-saving process. And it is a cost-saving process because they're paying people in other countries pennies on the dollars of what they would pay Americans. Therefore, making the company a lot more money, but at the same time, they're taking jobs away from Americans. This is done with many, many other products besides food, like tennis shoes, <coughs> LeBron James, but the schematics of the whole process are too complicated for me to understand or justify me buying those products. Which is why I spend quite a bit of extra money buying canned seafood that was caught and produced in the United States. The same goes for fresh or frozen seafood. 
I'll leave a few links in the description of this video where you can buy seafood that's caught in America and produced in America. And like I said, it is quite a bit more expensive. But for me, it's worth it for the quality and I'm supporting a small American business. And I'm already ready for the nasty comments of being called a racist, a trumper, and this or that, blah, blah, blah. I have the skin of an alligator, so hit me with your best shot. If you don't like the video, dislike the video with a thumbs down. If you don't like me, unsubscribe. If you do decide to unsubscribe, just do it. Don't leave me a comment telling me that you're unsubscribing. I don't care. If you don't like me because I'm a proud American who supports America, I don't need you. Man, this conversation went sideways real fast, but it needed to be said. Let's get back to the red lobster, parmesan crusted, garlic and herb stuffed shrimp. There's two and a half three piece servings per box. Each serving has 200 calories, 12 grams of total fat, five grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 45 milligrams of cholesterol, 470 milligrams of sodium, 16 grams of carbohydrates, one gram of fiber, one gram of sugars, and seven grams of protein. Here's a red lobster stuffed shrimp right out of the box and right out of the freezer. Here I have them on a raised rack on a cookie sheet and I'm gonna try out the air fryer function on my new oven. The oven is a convection oven to begin with, so I'm not really sure what's gonna change when I hit the air fryer function on a convection oven because basically an air fryer is a convection oven. So we preheated the oven to 350 degrees and then our stuffed shrimp go into the oven for eight to 10 minutes. While our stuffed shrimp are air frying, if you wouldn't mind hitting a couple buttons for me, I'd really appreciate it. Here's our red lobster Parmesan crusted stuffed shrimp after cooking at 350 degrees for 10 minutes in a convection oven set on air fry. I don't know what that means or what it does, but it looks like it cooked them okay. I apologize for the ugly blue plate and no, we're not having a blue plate special. We haven't had time to unpack all our dishes yet and we're out of Chinette plates, so I had to use this blue platter. We had to either use this ugly Crayola blue platter or make a plate out of aluminum foil. So I figured this was the less trailer trash way. And before anybody gets offended, I grew up in a mobile home until I was 15 years old. That doesn't mean everyone who lives in a mobile home is Trailer Trash, but you can call me Trailer Trash Larry if you like. You might even know my sister, Trailer Trash Tammy. So now it's time to try one of the Red Lobster Parmesan Crusted Stuffed Shrimp. It looked good, it smelled good, so I put it into my pie hole and down the gullet it went. And of course I ate the tail. You always eat the tail on fried shrimp. Even though technically they weren't fried, it was still crispy enough to eat. Speaking of crispy, the Parmesan crust was perfectly crisp. And once you bit into it, you got a savory explosion of delicious cream cheese filling. Delicious. The problem was there was very little shrimp texture and flavor. All you tasted was the filling, which wasn't necessarily a bad thing. But when you stuff a shrimp, or stuff anything else for that matter, you do expect to taste what you're stuffing, along with the stuffing. I'm willing to bet that these are just a little bit bigger than salad shrimp, which are very tiny. And there's really only one way to find out how much shrimp is in the stuffed shrimp. And that's by putting the stuffed shrimp into my pie hole and sucking the stuffing off. I'm sure there was a more tactful way of saying that and doing that, but it is what it is. I sucked the shrimp. Man, we went, man, I went from eating tail to sucking shrimp. I better be careful before this video gets demonetized. That would only happen if your mind's in the gutter like mine is. I'm sorry I had to turn the brightness down on the video so you could get a better picture of the shrimp. And even though the shrimp is butterflied, it's not actually as small as I thought it was, but it still didn't have a lot of texture or flavor. But the Parmesan crust and the garlic herb cream cheese filling more than made up for it in flavor. Now I'm gonna put my personal feelings aside that the product is from Thailand, and I'm gonna do like I always do and give you, the people, my honest review. I think the $7.48 regular price at Walmart and the $7.99 regular price at Food Line is a bit pricey for the amount and the quality of what you're getting with these shrimp. The shrimp themselves lack flavor and texture, but man oh man, that Parmesan crust garlic herb cream cheese stuffing was magically rich and delicious. So with all things considered, I'm giving Red Lobster's Parmesan crusted garlic herb stuffed shrimp a six out of 10. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you soon.